Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we want to look at how to render static content and static content is really just CSS files and images and things like that. And it's important that we um, do this correctly. So I'm going to put a new folder in the same location where I have my templates. Um, so basically it sits next to my templates directory and inside here we'll have a CSS folder and then inside the CSS, we're going to have a main.css file. And then for right now, we're just going to have one style in here. We're going to change this color to red. All right, so that's just uh, simple CSS here. Um, now, in order for this uh, static content to be rendered, we need to go to our templates and our index here. And we're gonna do something called at the top and we're gonna be loading static content. This is like a built-in helper that Django templates has where it says load static. And uh, this allows us to use like a, a free form or like a shorthand uh, kind of syntax type of thing uh, that, well, um, anyway, it'll point to that location there, settings file. So if I go to like W3C and I actually paste this in, I just wanna make sure I don't mess up the formatting link, relation, style sheet, type, text, CSS, and then here is where we're actually going to use our shorthand uh, static helper. So we say static and a keyword, in fact, I can even have this on a, a new line here to make it easier, so I'm gonna say static, and then inside here, this is where I'm gonna actually point to uh, the app. So we're just gonna say um, CSS main.css. And I wanna put this in single quotes actually, so I don't have to escape them. All right, so that, that should work right there. So what this does is it says, hey, I want you to load uh, in my static folder, look for CSS, and then look for main.css. And it sh should be able to find it. And should is a good word because this sometimes never seems to work uh, right off the bat with, uh, with Django for whatever reason. And let's make sure it's actually loading. So you can see that it pointed to the right location but it's still, it's not being rendered, it's not being. Now, typically, we would wanna to go to our settings file, and it doesn't work because what I wanna do is I wanna add a new, I added this to my settings.py file, so make sure you guys just do the same thing. Point it to the static folder, so just like we did with the templates, you have to point this to the uh, static folder, and then by doing so, if we look at this, we can now see that we have styling that is working so that's uh that's pretty sweet um, so now anything that's inside of your static folder typically you're going to have things like um, images and and things like that um, that are going to be inside of here so in, in a future video i'm actually going to show you how to get set up with a um, a bootstrap theme really quick to try to just get things going all right guys thanks for watching take care hey guys so a lot of you ask me how do i get my foot in the door to become a programmer and i just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.